Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. It's over here, Chaffle Kern. This is the temple that we're supposed to report to. Someone needs our help. The Forsworn have become quite a problem here in Markarth. And it's time that the Nightingale does something about it. I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. I'm not doing anything yet. Do you want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. And you want me to find out why? This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Wayland and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. What do you know about this Margaret? She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. Who was Waylon, and where did he live? He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Waylon, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. Tell me more about these Forsworn. They're remnants of the old rulers of Markarth, natives of the Reach, followers of the old ways. The Nords drove them out of the city, Ulfric Stormcloak and his men. That was about 20 years ago. But somehow they're still here, and they're killing people. And you've looked into these murders? Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines, rare for anyone who was in the Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. I've gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. All right. Let me know as soon as you found anything. I'll see what I can do. Oh, uh, yes. Chafelkern, this way. I think we need to find out more about this Margaret woman. I'll go on ahead. You catch up when you can. The finest jewelry in all of Mar Fancy yourself an alchemist, huh? Never you got your back. That was record time, Chafelkern. All right, Clapper. This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Well, I'm assuming that's not you. Did a woman named Margaret stay here? Ah, yes. Rented the nicest room we had for a whole month. Best we all forget about her. Bad luck to talk about the dead in Markarth. Dead? No idea what I'm looking for. What can I do for you, friend? Look. Certainly take the gold, the gold purse, though. Well. 
I'm assuming that there's nothing here. Huh, Nightingale's fact or fiction. With me standing here. We'll let someone be the judge. Anything, Jafalkern? All right, let's go and investigate one of these other leads that we've given and given. Warren, the Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? Did you know Waylon? Oh yes, I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. I need the key to Wayland's room. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. You cannot resist me. It is important. Give me the key. Trust is hard to come by here. But all right. Thank you. All right, then. I have no idea this is the door to Garvey's room. Omog. Omlog. I guess that's no door at all. Koshnak. You don't want to be here. No one wants to. The gain. Alright, if this isn't it, yes, here we are. This is a room. This is like a, a cave. All right, search, Chafelkern. Waylon's note. Waylon, you've been chosen to strike fear in the heart of the Nords. Go to the market tomorrow. You will know what to do. Signed in. Interesting. Warrens ain't for you. Trust me. Oh, believe me, I know that. But thank you for your help, even though you were powerless to resist my persuasion. Yes? <laughs> You've been digging around where you don't belong. Oh, really? It's time you learned a lesson. And who's going to teach me? I don't listen to threats. You'll listen to this. Really? You're Come such on. a fool. Let's see what you're made of. should have brought a weapon. Chuffle, Kern, I know that's not you. Alright, come on. Guess this would have been over if I had my ring. It would drain his life. Keep those hands up. Drive that snow back to the ground. 
shuffle, Kern. You're not helping. Gods, yes. Got him. Piece of pit bait. Talk, or I'll send you to the gods. I was sent by Nepos the Nose. The old man hands out the orders. He told me to make sure you didn't get in the way. That's all I know, I swear. <laughs> what do you think we should do, Chavel Kern? Nepos is in charge. That's all I know. I suppose if I killed him, these guards would try to arrest me. Nepos is in charge. That's all I know. All right. Well, I guess that's enough. Let's go. Nepos' house. Excuse me. What's your business here? I am the Nightingale. And I am here to see Nepos. We haven't been expecting you, and the old man needs his rest. Come back some other time. Still here. No one refuses an yes, audience with the is. Nightingale. Come on, Chafelkern. Go on in. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now what is it you want? Now what is it you want? I know about Waylon. Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. Why? Because my king told me to. Madanon. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages. And I hand out his orders without question. Who is Madanok? He is the king in rags. A man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city. Directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine. A Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. You mentioned an uprising. Markarth and the Reach are our lands. That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. Why are you telling me all this? My dear boy, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. <laughs> you aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. I have every intention of leaving here alive. It's a shame that I can't say the same for you. Thought I heard something. Die. And off with your head. You really think a masquerading maid can stop the Nightingale? You are sorely mistaken. It amazes me how these people think that they can threaten the Nightingale and live. Alright, I guess I'm going back here to report in. to just
just go and cause trouble. Now we have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. What did you do to Eltris? Same thing we do with all the other natives who want to change things around here. We had a nice little deal going between Thonar and Madanach until you and Eltris started snooping around. Well, you wanted to find the man responsible for those killings. You'll have plenty of time with the king in rags when you're in Sidna Mine. <laughs> you're not taking me alive. You'll never leave Markarth. You can't win this! Problem is, though, how do I get to Madnock? Wait a minute. Everyone's against us now. Way to stop him. Let's go. Guess we're leaving Markarth. you guards got the memo or not.
Alright, let's get out of here. We can't stop him. Chafflekern, get on your horse. Chafflekern. He's going to end up dead. I'm going to leave. Alright, so we're unable to finish the Forsworn Conspiracy because the guards aren't strong enough to stop me. Really? If I ever come back, I'll have to surrender. And it doesn't look like Chafflekern is going to follow me. Oh my god, you? You're under arrest for murder and conspiracy against the city of Markov. Hmm. I'm with the guild. Is this enough to clear my bounty? Down where you stand. What? All right. I submit. Take me to jail. We'll never see the sun again. No one escapes Sidna Mine. No one. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna Mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no rest in your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little deaf in this ear. Don't get smart with me. I'm in charge. Are you? Keep you? it up, I'll have your toes cut off. You've taken away my Open outfit. Now you. What? Get down there. Wait. My magic. It's been nullified. Nothing works. <laughs> All right. Looks like you win. steal a silver bar off the table. Well, hopefully Chafflekern got away. Sorry to hear that. What are you in for, New Blood? Murder. Violent one, huh? Best keep that to yourself, New Blood. Others find out, they'll consider that a challenge. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. Where's Madanok? If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. No one talks to Madanok, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borkel the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borkel the Beast. Oh, but I do. 
tell me about this Borkle? Madinox guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. Where are the guards? They come in here once a week to clean out the bodies, grab any ore we'd mined, and beat down the troublemakers. Hmm. That's the only time when we get food, too. And if there's not enough ore mined up, we don't get any. And what are you in for? A Nord nobleman I served was stabbed in the night. Wasn't me, but I knew I'd be blamed. So I ran, joined the Forsworn, started killing, got caught. Now I'm here. Why did you join the Forsworn? Because life was better under the old ways. No Nords and their laws. One day the Forsworn will paint the walls of Markarth in their blood. Hmm. Uh, until next time. Yes. So, you must be Borkel. The new meat. So soft, tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? Why don't I tell you what it's gonna be like killing you? The new meat. So soft, tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? Exciting. I felt the rush of blood. And I smiled. A true killer like me. The gods put us here to fill their halls with souls. You'll fit in fine down here. I need to see Madinok. You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one, but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> you cannot resist me. Madinok is expecting me. Uh -huh. Fine. Go on in. But don't try anything in there. Madanok knows more than you think. And just what are you in for? Murder, banditry, assault, theft, and lollygagging. <laughs> Fight well. Let's go. So, when I just walked up to him to pickpocket him, he didn't have a key, but now he does. Interesting. All right, let's see here. I promised you we would escape Sidna Mine together, and I have found a way. If I die before I can show it to you, then search the cells near my room. Use my key. There is a tunnel that leads into the city that you can use. I'll take the shiv. I don't know if I'll need it.
It's too bad, Madnock. I almost feel like killing everybody in here. This isn't working out. frozen them in time. Was there anyone else that needed killing? Hmm. I think I've got everybody, but let me just make sure. That's it. Now it's time for me to leave. 
<laughs> Wait, I heard someone. To me, my blade. Looks like the mine is empty. And as far as no one escaping Sidna Mine, they've all escaped as far as I'm concerned. This isn't good. To me, my blade. To me, my bow. It's interesting how they thought they could imprison me by taking away my gear. But what they don't understand is that I am a weapon. To me, my blade. Besides in the mind, tell me that Nadanath is dead. You've done a great service to the Silver Blood family. I've had the Arl officially pardon you and take care of a few other loose ends. It was you and your thugs that had me arrested in the first place. And you proved that, that was the best move I could have made. Don't give me that look. You're free to go. Here, how about a little token for your effort? My family's ring and all the things the guards confiscated from you when you were jailed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to figure out how we're going to fill our recently emptied mine. <laughs> Chaffle Kern. Huh. Oh. 
carrying too much to run, of course. All right, well. That was quite the experience. And I have escaped Sidna Mine. So, until next time. Yeah.